Good day to you people, my name is Thomas, and welcome to The Cat Lady. This is a game I bought um, on Steam, and apparently it's supposed to be very creepy and very unique actually. Um, I'm and also, fun fact, I'm recording this with two sets of headphones. Yeah, I know, it's kind of odd, because um, the microphone I'm using at the moment is from my gaming headset, which, uh, which the audio broke. So I'm using the microphone setting. I've ordered a new pair, so it should be coming by Friday. So I'm using my regular headphones to play this game. So anyways, welcome to the cat lady. Let's begin. Also, I'd like to say this now. It's a it's a very dark game. It, it tackles things like- My name is Susan Ashworth. Hi there, Susan. I live alone in this old two bedroom flat. I rarely go outside. Oh, okay. Basically, it tackles depression, and if you're very sensitive to this kind of content, I recommend you don't watch this video. Some would say it's a lonely life, and I guess that's true, but I don't like people's company. Ah. Lately, anyway. Tick. Talk. Oh my god, look at that art style! I really trust my cats these days, and I will miss them dearly. Why? But they will understand. Like they always have. Oh yeah, you get that cat! The teacup stays with me till the, the end. end. He watches me. As if he knew. Oh, a teacup. That's a, that's a bit of an adorable name for a cat. Teacup. Oh, God, that scared me for a bit. Because earlier tonight, I swallowed a whole bunch of pills. Oh. They're legal, of course. Prescribed by my doctor for my sleeping problems. But it's gonna kill you, isn't it? I've taken 34 of them. All I could find in the cupboard. And now the room around me spins in a blurry tango as my heart slows down. Any second now, I will be dead. Oh, okay. I feel calm. I'm ready for it. I don't think you are, lady. I've only got one thing to say now. What is that? Goodbye. Thanks for nothing. Oh. Goodbye. Oh god, that was a bit loud in my ears. Well, it was this chapter. For Jesus' sake, with the loud noises in my ears, I'm gonna go deaf. House in the woods. Harvest game up oh, the the the, the, the pfft. harvester games presents. I really like this music. Really tone and relaxing. Oh my god, this is this is amazing. Look at it. Press this or this to walk. Simple enough. So like I said, this game tackles suicidal depression. And um, I myself, um, I, I don't really know. I guess I do have to, well, I wouldn't really say it's just more of a sickness. It's more of a thing that just kind of stuck with me. I didn't really have any depression in the beginning like I never really felt like everything was sad but I guess it really started in uh, secondary school when I was bullied a lot and um, it, it faded away then I met and I met this girl really really nice and we got into a relationship but um, we broke up and I've just found like loads of horrible things about it and that made me really really sad and depressed and that depression came back I still have it now there are some times where you know, I feel incredibly sad, I want to die, and like, st um, stuff like that. But it fades away very, very quickly. But, um, I'm a more happier person now, as you can tell from the videos, but I will say this now. If, if you're watching this video, and you have depression, do not, I swear to my life, do not keep it to yourself. Tell it to your family. They can help you. I can help you. Anyone can help you with depression. But enough about, you know, the serious tone of this. 
let's just um, carry on with the game because, you know, that's what we're here for. So anyways, press this and this to walk, as you can tell I'm doing right now. I have to say, this art style looks really, really unique. Except for Susan's Ashworth's face. It's a bit, um, creepy, I might say. So, this must be heaven, I think. Well, it must be, because I don't really know where I'm going. Ooh, hello. Press the up button to interact with the menu. Cycle through the available options with down, up and down, and press enter to confirm. Okay. Examine. Or maybe not. Oh, through enter. I feel strangely drawn to the to this place. Um, I must find a way to unlock this pad and get inside. Okay. Also, sorry if the um screen is a bit far to the side. I don't really know why, but hey, that's just a it doesn't bother me. Oh my! It doesn't bother me that much, and for some strange reason, it's got really creepy. I'm getting outside. Bye. So, if you couldn't tell, it's a horror game, which I like. So here we go. Into the mysterious, into the mysterious place. Well, someone did not have a good. Someone did not have a good time in cars. Hey, what does that say? Myth T thirty-seven. No pedestrian access. Pfft, you can't tell me what to do. Okay. Uh, nah, nothing. I have to keep going. Oh, oh God! What was that? Ah, oh, come on. Oh no. Oh, oh, what the heck? Don't do that. Why do you have to do that? I don't know why. Okay, yes, we get it your game. You don't have to blum and kill my ears. Press open to open the interaction menu. Yeah, I know. I've already done that. Ambulance. Ooh, what's in here? Examine. Parrot. I can't go any further. Okay. Parademic ambulance. This ambulance is blocking the access to the tunnel exit. Maybe there is no exit after all. Open the door. Let's see what's inside. It's locked. Ah, god damn it. Uh, I'll have to find uh, the key then. Uh, cycle through the verb. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, so I will need to find a key. But where can I find this key? I can't go any further. So I may have. To, I'll have to go back. Oh. Huh? Oh, hello. What's making that noise? Oh, I don't want to know. Hello, who's there? Answer me. Oh dear God. Oh God. Oh, oh God. Body, look closer. It's m it's me. My cold dead body right in front of my eyes. What's it doing there? Ooh, hello. Press up to the interaction menu. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Susan, examine. She look. I look so calm. That's probably my dead body. Turn head. Nothing. Open eyes. I have beautiful green eyes. My eyes, just about the one thing I like about myself. Even now, they still shine a little. Open. Oh, what? Oh, okay. Why is it in her mouth? Is that a key in her mouth? In my mouth? I better take it with me. Oh, isn't that lovely? Oh, wait. That probably opens the cabin. I'm going to press down to open the inventory. Select the items. And confirm with enter. Okay. Alright. And press up to exit. Okay. Got it. Oh, that is not good. Oh, dear God!
Oh, I'm... Don't worry! I'm fine! Whoever's there... Probably no one. I'm getting out of here. Don't even know why I went here in the first place. But I'm getting out of here. Because I'm not going to be the last one to die. Oh, it's a deer! I deer! Oh, goodbye. That wasn't there before. I'm gonna go and check it. Let's see what is there. Or what's there. Alright, Mr. Tree. Alright, Tree. What do you got? What do you got for me? What do you got for me? What you got? What you got, me, sonny? Oh, how lovely. Oh, hello there. What you doing? Also, there's a shiny up you. I like to examine. My dead body hanging from a tree. I got this many dead bodies. I should be scared, but I feel empty. Oh, uh, yeah. Wait, what's that shiny thing on her neck? Is that a key? The body is too high. I can't reach. Yeah, god damn it. Rope. Yeah. Untie. It would take me hours to undo this knot. Okay, never mind. What's in the door? The door seems to be bolted from the other side. Uh, Okay, so I can't go in there. What if I just... I can't remember this place. Am I lost? Ah, crap. God damn it, dear! <laughs> <laughs> Jesus sake. Oh, hello. So, what a graduate display. At least it's not my head stuck on the, stuck on the bars. How lovely. Open. It's locked. Ah, I bet that's where the key comes in. The key doesn't fit. Okay, never mind. Okay. Uh... Oh, for goodness sake, you. Wait, what if I go back? Ah, hello. Are you? I'm gonna check if the, um, if the shed, um, has anything in it. See, this is the kind of thing I like. Nice, peaceful music. Also, I am sweating my butt off because I'm not really the exact clothes for some of it. Okay, let's, uh. Dip, 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 dip. Oh, this is just lovely. Oh, this is just lovely. What's this? Planks. The hall has been boarded up with these planks. The sign underneath says emergency... Oh my god, I can, feel, I can hear heartbeats. Says emergency power switch danger. Look through. There's definitely something in there. I can't tell for sure, but it looks like a switch. Bullet. I'm not strong enough to pull off with my bare hands. Okay, fine. Ooh, machine. Examine. Too long a sacrifice can make us... Stone of the heart. Will it take another sacrifice to turn it back? Maybe I'm being silly, but it's just some old machinery after all. Switch on. How strange. There doesn't seem to be a single switch or button on this machine. How do you turn it on? Well, maybe you don't. Okay, so... Put... There's definitely something in there. Okay, I think I may need... It's like a shovel. 
I think I'll probably need a shovel, so I'll need to go back where the deer was. Dum. Dum. Does there seem to be anything here? There's my dead body, but like <sighs> the body's too high, I can't reach. But you can, you know, just pull on the legs. I'm just adjusting. Yeah, yeah, bolt up on the other side. God damn it. Untie, I can't it will take me hours to do this knot. Probably need to go back. Yes, hi, Crow. Open. Uh, what do I do? Can't seem to find anything. Yeah, yeah. What if I were to go back? Oh no, I saw that. I never in the place. Wait, what if the crow's trying to lead me somewhere? Okay. Oh, this is just... Oh, hello, what the heck? Who's done this? Is there anyone else here? I do not know, but it's very creepy. Pull out the knife. I've got a knife. Don't come near me. Oh, wait, I could probably undo that thingy, my Bobby. I got an idea! I can't get out! Yeah, yeah. Unbolt. Ah, ah, ah. Rope, untie. Oh, wait, hang on. And a minute. I know what to do. I know what to do. Doop, doop, and doop! Sorry, mate. Look closer. Susan. Look, I look like I'm just sleeping. Search pockets, empty, take the key. Excellent. And just leave. Right, looks like I got that taken care of. Now I can just... Wait, I could probably use that for... No, I need... I could use that for the gate, so I need to... What if I go this way? Oh, I... Okay, so I can't go that way. Looks like I just have to... Oh, okay, there we go. Open. Ah, uh, yep, yep, I keep forgetting. And use the key. Let's see what's in this gate. Oh, what the heck are you? Welcome to my house, Susan Ashworth. Oh, God, no! I have been waiting for you, my dear. No! Nope. I knew you would turn up one fine day, Lexus. One fine day. Who are you? I have so many names, it's hard to pick one. 
But I'm curious. Who do you think I am? Um, death. An old lady who lives in the woods. Are you God? Are you the devil? Are you God? Are you God? Do you even believe in God? But I don't know. I killed. I, if you are God, I suppose it would be too late to start anyway. Well, I'm not God. Okay. I'm something else entirely. I come when there's something to take, but I never give anything back. I am doom, but I am salvation too. I am feared by most, but adored by some also. Some like yourself, Susan. Don't flatter yourself, old lady. I don't even know you. Well, that's not quite right. I've been around for a while, keeping you company. Always there, you know? Always there. Oh, sure. What is this place? What is this place? This, my dear, is my humble kingdom. It's a rather... This house is my castle. It's a rather beautiful and horrifying kingdom. I really invite people in, just like you. I like my solitude. But you are a special guest, and I'm going to make an exception. Me? Special? I can tell you now that there's nothing special about me, lady. Don't bring yourself down, Susan Ashworth. Today, you are my guest of honor. Um, what will happen next? What will happen next? Depends on you, Susan. Inside my house, there are dark hallways that lead to places you don't want to see. Okay, so no. It's also something that will make you want to return to where you came from and cherish every single little breath you take. I'm going to make you an offer, Susan. It's a chance only a fool would refuse. Okay. Okay. An offer? What can you offer me? Let's come inside. It's getting cold out here. What a beautiful house! Kinda. I uh, know. Painting. Look a at it. Lonely seashore. Please don't touch anything, dear. I wasn't going to. You lied to the whole world, Susan. And you lied to yourself. Okay, I'm sorry I touched a painting! Oh dear god, this is, this is, this is, you know, really messed up. Strange lady. Look at. Is she really here? Maybe this is all just a dream after all. Talk to. Now we can talk properly, my dear. Okay. I, I still, still don't, don't know. Really know who you are. I go by many names. I've never paid much notice to what the living call me. But there is one name the Fallen Ones use when I speak to them. I find it most accurate. And what is that? The Queen of Maggots. Oh, hi there. Is that what you are? The Queen of Maggots. Why maggots? Because they feed on what's dead and gone. Oh. Dead and gone. I guess that's me. Will I be punished for taking my own life? Is is there anyone else here? Is there anyone else here? <laughs> Why? I thought you liked being alone. No, I'm just a bit curious because that mm. why you ran away from everyone? It doesn't matter. I was standing right behind you when you threw away all those photographs, you know? I brushed your hair every night you cried yourself to sleep. I saw everything. Okay, lady. I know what you want, but it's not here. It's gone, and it will never, ever come again. Um, would I be punished for taking my own life? Punished for taking my own life. Most people would be, but not you, Susan. Oh, thank God! You see, 
I watched you long enough to understand how you feel. I don't expect you to believe me, but I actually have sympathy for you. Oh, thank you! Uh, it could be your only friend. The only friend in the whole wide world. Oh, that's sad. So, like I said, I, I don't have any friends. You an offer. I want to help you. I want to give you back your happiness in exchange for a simple task. Oh, what is that your simple life task? will change completely. You will be yourself again. And you will soon forget the sadness that has consumed your heart for years. Um. Well, I like, you know, I always say to people, you know, there's always a reason to, you know, carry on living. So, of course, I'm going to I'm going to say, what do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? Yes. I think it's time to explain. Okay, what is it? But where are my manners? We're still in the hall. This is not a place for a serious door. Oh god, we have to go Follow further. Me to the next room. I'll tell you everything you need to know. Okay. Oh, great. I'm going to love this. What's your offer then? What can you fix that life has destroyed? Susan, death can fix nothing. But though we are both dead, I am not death. I might seem okay. just like a strange old woman to you, but I'm just as powerful as gods. And I chose you, Susan Ashworth. Okay. I need you to go back and face five people. They're not ordinary people. They're very special. Just like you. Only in a slightly different way. Oh, what is that a slightly different way? I'm a failure. Why did you choose me? Those five people, who are they? I'm curious what the, uh, what she says about the first I'm one. A failure. Why did you choose me? Aren't you afraid I will let you down? Whatever it is I have to do. Most days, it's enough of a struggle to crawl out of bed. I don't see the point in anything. I just want to disappear. And I hate everyone else because they know how to be happy. Everywhere I turn, there are people filled with hope and will to live. Or people so pitiful, they make me ashamed to be alive. Ah. I don't want them. There's nobody there for me. Aww. I'm alone. I'm guessing the parents. So your parents are dead. I'm guessing. This is the very reason I chose you, Susan Ashworth. I know how you feel, because I felt like this myself for a very long time. Ah. You and me are very much alike. If you succeed, you will never feel broken again. Okay, let's go. Those five people, who are they? The parasites. That's what I call them. They don't know each other, but their destinies are bound together. You will have to keep your eyes open and be constantly on guard. Those people will want to get closer to you. They might even pretend they are your friends, but don't what? let them fool you. Oh. They have nothing but cruel intentions. They'll want to hurt you, Susan. Oh, okay. They'll want to kill you. Oh, oh as lovely. As as they might appear, parasites are the evil scum of the earth, and they all deserve to die. Isn't my life bad enough without them? Don't be frightened. You will have a great advantage over them. They don't know that you know. Do you understand what it means? You will become my hunter, serving punishment for their sins. Oh. A tool of destruction. A dark angel walking through the river of blood. You find your purpose in life, and you see for the first time how satisfying it can be. But... how will I recognize them? 
So there isn't a great deal of people in your lonely life, is there, Susan? You will know when you see them. Bring those deceitful bastards in front of me, and we'll make them regret for everything they've done. Um... Are you expecting me to kill them? No, Susan, I'm expecting you to fight for survival. No, Mr. Bond, I'm expecting you to die. You to defend die. yourself. I know you're not a murderer. Quite the opposite, actually. You're a good person. Well, thank I you. I also know that you don't want to suffer. And those people will want to cause you pain. They won't hesitate. In the end, you might have no choice. Think of it as gardening. If there were weeds among the flowers, you'd pull them out, wouldn't you? You'd get rid of them without thinking twice about it. I'm not really a gardening type, but I see your point. I'm glad. And remember this, you are not the only victim. If you don't stop them, the killing will continue. Innocent people will die. Have the opportunity to make the difference. And the chance to save yourself. Um. What makes you think I want to go back? What makes you think I want to go back? I finally did it. I killed myself. That's all I ever wanted. And yet, it turns out to be just another failure. I want this suffering to stop. Dear, dear Susan, you don't realize that the suffering never stops, do you? It only gets worse. This place is a passage between the world of the living and the world of the dead. You enter one of these corridors and you never come back. But you don't cease to exist. You remain. I can't do this. It's too much. Dealing with criminals is a job for the police, not someone like me. Indeed, you are weak. That's why I have prepared a special gift for you. Immortality. What? You cannot die, Susan. Oh! You always return to life no matter what happens to you. Oh, that is going to be awesome. This is the last thing I wanted. Please, can't you just let me die? No. I've made the decision. As long as they are alive, you cannot die. It's blackmail. It's okay. blackmail. You can't do that. I'm doing it for your own good. Oh god, I'm making her angry. Yeah, Stop making her angry, Susan. Position to bargain with me. Don't make her you angry, Susan. Go and do what you have to do. I suffer for eternity. Do not make her angry, Susan. Unable to find your peace. Do not make her angry. Um, this is. This all must be just a weird dream. I don't believe you. Susan, stop. Susan, see this door here? Oh, oh, where's my head? Let's go inside. Where is my head? Oh. I want to show you something that will help you make up your mind. Oh. Me. Oh, God, I don't like this one bit. I don't like this one bloody bit. Oh, oh God! Yes, it's you, Susan. Come closer. Say hello. Uh. I don't want to it. Haven't I had enough yet? That body in the ambulance. Then the forest. But this place is. This is exactly what I was trying to run away from. I don't want to be here. Make it go away. I assumed it would be wise to give you a little taste of the suffering you'd endure. 
I want you to understand that you can keep going long after you come. Examine. Crucified, all alone, in one place, that, that's changed it all. I really don't want to be here. Well, too bloody bad. Um... Ooh. It's stuck to the cross. I suppose I could easily pull it out. Okay... Now what? <gasps> oh! I got you now! I got you now! As useful as these things are, there's nothing I can't do with the crowbar here. Here's a god damn it! As useful as these things can be, there's nothing I can do with the crowbar here. Oh. Death, talk to. Let's talk, Death! It's time to make a decision. Oh, oh god, what was that? The parasites are coming, whether you want it or not. You haven't really got much choice. You must stand up for yourself. Um. Fine, I'll do what you want. Fine. I'll do what you want. Excellent. Sorry if you can't hear me over it. You have put your trust in me. Oh god, look at the look at the achievement unlocked. Oh god. I haven't really got anyone else. You shall not regret this, my dear. Thanks for giving me a second chance, but we're back in the house. Yes. But there is something else that must be done. That's a you cannot leave my kingdom before a sacrifice is made. And um, what? what? Isn't it enough already? And what is that sacrifice? Child, this is a mere formality I am speaking of. The door to your world won't open unless you make a sacrifice of soul. I have to. A sacrifice of blood. Oh, how lovely. It doesn't sound good at all. See those candles here? Mm -hmm. Just blow one out, and that's it. Like I said, it's just a formality. Then on your way out, you will have to shed a few drops of blood. Okay. Not much. Just a bit. Enough to open the door. Oh. Uh, how much? Exactly? Don't be afraid. It's easy. Anyone can do it. Yeah, but what do you say it like it's that? It's a sharp scratch. Is that how you used to say it? Okay, so... Tell me about the sacrifice like of soul. Like I said, it's just a formality. See those candles here? Just, just blow one out, no. and that's it. But oh. which one? You can choose. It doesn't matter as long as you do it. Okay... Uh, and the Tell me about the sacrifice of blood. Like I said, it's just a formality. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Out, you will have to shed a few drops of blood. Not much. Much, just, just, just a, a bit. bit. You have to open the door. How much, exactly? Don't be afraid. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. Easy. Anyone can do it. it. Yeah, just yeah. a sharp scratch. Yeah. Is that how you used to say it? Okay, then I suppose we move on to fine. I'll do that. Wish me luck, strange fine. lady. I'll do that. Wish me luck, strange lady. I do. Oh, thank you. When you leave my house, head to the field. To the field. That's Cut. where you should be. All right. Goodbye, my child. Oh. I'm not going to be far. I've never been... Okay, blow up one, right, blow out. Oh, hello. They left me no choice, Alice. Maybe one day you'll forgive me. What? See how easy that was? What no, was that? You've got a job to do, Susan. I 
I'm gonna I think that's it for now. Okay, fine. Right, back into the field we go! What the? How did I get back here? I don't know, but we're going back to the field. Back into the field we go! La 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 la! Pretending I didn't see all of that because that was very creepy. Right, back into the field, and I, I suppose, as soon as we step out of the door, we're immortal. <gasps> oh, I've got an idea. I've got the best idea in the world. <laughs> Pull. Gift. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, okay, but use. Put out the planks, and then... Reach inside. Oh, um, um, oh, um, uh, uh. Okay. Uh oh! Interference program during spinals. Jeez, I hate it when you do that. The way that. <laughs> well, that was a very int. That was a very intense beginning, I'll say that. The cat lady. Dun. Oh, oh, oh. Stop whispering in my ear, please. I don't like it when you do that. Next time I'm going to lower the volume on this because this is really hurting my ears. Chap chapter 1 completed. Oh bloody boy. Chapter 2. Second first breath. And that's when I... I yes, I do enjoy fine art. Thank you for noticing. Wait, 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 There's wait. a certain raw beauty to it that modern painters often fail to recreate. I always wanted to be an artist myself. What is going on? It'll be a long time before I can call myself that. Eh, don't worry. I often say that patients are my canvas. But my job is more about restoration, obviously. I look at the damaged human minds and bring them back to their former beauty. I'm sorry. I'm probably boring you. No. It's not that. It's just... It's been a difficult couple of days. I'd really like to go home. Of course, and go home you will. As soon as we've done this little assessment, okay, you probably know how it works. I've read in your file you used to be a nurse. Yes, I know very well how it works. Mm. You want to check if I'm nuts. <laughs> well, I wouldn't use that expression, obviously. But yes, we have to make sure you're safe and figure out how to help you. Also, as a nurse yourself, you know there's always paperwork involved. These forms won't fill themselves. Honestly, Susan, you have nothing to worry about. Oh, I have plenty this to worry about because you could be a parasite! I could tell straight away that you are not nuts. Fine. Um. What would you like to know? Okay. I will answer all your questions. Then I'll go home, take a long shower, 
and catch up on sleep. Wonderful. Let's see then. Where do we begin? Okay. Uh, okay. Oh, uh, this must be happening before. She's awake, Doctor. Oh, uh, uh, okay. Um. Good evening. Uh, it's good to see you awake at last. Bye. You're in the Cedar Lake Hospital. My name is Andrew. I'm one of the doctors. Would you confirm your name for me, please? Uh, Susan Ashworth. Susan Ashworth. Hello, Mrs. Ashworth. I'm glad to see you're all right. You're on the ward now. Your condition is stable. I can see your brain functions just fine and there's no permanent damage of any sort. We've checked your internal organs and they're fine too. You're a very lucky lady, Susan. You might experience extreme tiredness and lethargy for a couple of days, but that should soon pass. I would advise plenty of rest now. The nurses on this ward will take it from here. Please, let them know if you need anything. Okay, that's cool. Take care, Mrs. Ashworth. Ah, oh, thank you. Please, don't try to speak. Alright. What did you say? Well, huh? What? Don't worry, Mrs. Ashworth. Your arm is fine. Wait, wait, no, wait. No, no, oh. no. There was nothing wrong with your arm, darling. Oh, ah, because I got my arm chopped off! <laughs> Would you like me to get you some water? Let me get you a drink. I'll be back in a second. Be back in a second? This is a very long game. I'll have to cut some uh, parts out because I don't want this to be an hour long. Because no, um, most of the time I think it's about searching. In fact, most of this is probably dialogue. Dead ass. Mm. I'm sorry, Susan. Did I wake you? I have to take your blood pressure. Two seconds, and I'm gone. Also, there's a My lot. My name is Liz, by the way. Hi. Hi. There's a lot of static I'm in the sorry. microphone. I know, this isn't very nice. Believe me, I hate waking people up just for this. But being a nuisance is part of my stupid job, unfortunately. Oof, then why did you- this place. Then why are you here? Tell you what, Susan. Can I call you Susan? So anyway, I shouldn't say it, but you know I'm going to anyway. Mm -hmm. You are so lucky. It's crazy. You're you, Irish. You know done, and her- I think, in, or maybe Scottish. Seeing what she saw, that was a chance. One in a million. I'm not making any sense again, am I? I'm tired. They're working us to death here, you know. Modern day slavery. Uh. One day I'll tell them what I really think. I swear I will. Ah, and here it is. You've got the blood pressure of an 18 year old. Mm. Just wanted to say you're lucky, I think. And that I hope you've changed your mind about some things. Got to go, but I'll see you later. You take care, sweetheart, yeah? You're so lucky. It's crazy. It's just very Scottish. What the heck are those dots on my arm, by the way? Uh. Oh. What? What the heck is happening right now? Bad dream. Uh. Yeah, a really bad. A really bad one. I knew it. I could see as soon as I came in the room that you were having a nightmare. I guess I shouldn't have woken you up. That's fine, don't worry. What's it about? Um, I was, I was burnt alive. Actually, it reminds me of something that happened the other day. Oh, what was that? There was this woman on the emergency unit, and she really wanted to smoke, you know? But they wouldn't let her, of course. She wasn't well at all. Not just injured, but not right in the head. She uh. was on 10 litres of oxygen through the face mask. She had to stay in bed, she was told. But she wouldn't listen, of course. And as soon as they'd left, she lit up a fag. The whole room went up in flames. And so did she. Ooh. I guess you didn't really want to know that, did you? That's just me and my big gob. Typical. I never know when to shut up. 
What was your name again? I forgot to introduce myself, didn't I? I always do that. So sorry, Susan. My name is Elizabeth. Hello, Please Elizabeth. Call me Liz, like everyone else. Hey, Elizabeth. You're here a lot. Every time I open my eyes, I see you. They make auxiliaries do crazy hours, you. Seriously, I feel like I've got no life sometimes. I'll be here till the morning. To be honest, I keep coming here to hide. Please don't give me away. I just want to rest my legs for two minutes, that's all. What happened to me? Well, how much do you remember? I... I took some pills. And I fell asleep in the chair. I remember how the room kept spinning around me slowly. I felt so calm. And then... Um... All of a sudden, I was on the field of barley. I woke up here and I saw you. Hmm. What to choose? What to choose? That, since we're building a connection, let's go for that. All of a sudden, I was on the field of barley. It was great at first. I felt happy. I was free. But it soon got worse. There was this tunnel. But there was no light at the end of it, only darkness. Then I got lost in the woods. There was my dead body hanged on the tree, a burning car, and a crow, and a deer. I heard something behind the trees, but I didn't dare to look. Then I found the house. The old woman who lived there, I think she was death. Or maybe she was the devil. I'm not sure. She said they call her the Queen of Maggots. She said I should go back. Gave me another chance. And so, here I am. Mm. Weird dream, eh? Maybe it wasn't a dream. I really believe in that sort of stuff. It's not impossible. It felt real, but it was just a dream. Can you now tell me who found me and what happened? Well, your body went into a coma. You were lucky she came home and found you. I told you that before. What? Who found me? Your daughter, of course. She called an ambulance. If it wasn't for her, you'd sure be dead now. Oh, that's just cool. My daughter? Yes. Why? Why'd you look so pale all of a sudden, Susan? Oh. Uh. I don't have a daughter. Ooh. Whoever she is, she lied. But... Why would she do that? How should I know? I was in a coma, apparently. <laughs> so she lied. It doesn't change the fact that you owe her your life. I was fine. I didn't ask for any help. Oh, jeez. Sorry. Um. How long have I been here? I was told you arrived at the hospital at seven in the evening. You had a cardiac arrest in the ambulance. Mm. They had to resuscitate you. Your heart stopped beating for nearly a minute, but they managed to bring you back. You went to the intensive care unit, where they gave you a dose of antidote and pumped your stomach. As soon as your condition was stable, they brought you on this ward. It's called Dime Ward. I call it Die Ward, because all the patients who come here want to die. Oh. It's a suicide watch unit. That's why it's so strict. Mm. You have to be careful. Nurses here are trigger happy with the sedatives. When will they let when me go? When will home? they let me go home? I'm not sure. Probably not today. Maybe tomorrow. Well, hopefully it'll be tomorrow. Look, I shouldn't say that, but you seem like a nice person. Oh, thank I you. Feel like I should warn you. Oh, what is doctor here? Uh, they call him Doctor X. Charles Xavier? Of psychiatry in this hospital. You won't be able to go home until he's talked to you, and he... He's really good at getting into your head. You know what I'm saying? He will ask you a lot of tricky questions. Mm -hmm. But he's a really great guy. You should trust him. Or maybe he's a parasite! Tell me more about this doctor. Did you see this daughter of mine? Tell me something about yourself. Tell, tell me something tell me about, something your something more about, about yourself. yourself. Me? I'm a nobody. I'm just a hard-working girl. We all have to pay our bills somehow, right? I rent a room not far from here. There are two other girls living in the house. 
One is an auxiliary nurse, like me. She's always sick. The other one is a stripper. At least I think so. Oh, I would... home at night. Oh, I would love like... She works at night, like you. Yeah, but I don't leave for work wearing red stockings and heels, do I? No, you're right. You're a real nurse. Not some man's fantasy of one. <laughs> I used to do all that for my boyfriend. Ooh. You know, dress up as a sexy nurse and all. And? I did it just once, really. And? He didn't like it that much. Oh. He didn't like me that much either. Oh. Me last Valentine's Day. Oh, oh shit. That, one, eh? that is he cruel. Why, but I don't care anymore. Ooh. Uh, tell me more about this tell Doctor me more X. About this Doctor X. So I've just his name is Xavier Zellman. Xavier <laughs> Charles <laughs> Xavier X. He comes on the ward often, usually late in the afternoon or in the evening. I personally really like him, but you hear all sorts of stories in a place like this, you know. I don't know what to believe anymore. All I know is he's been very friendly and supportive. Some doctors won't even say hello to you. <laughs> Dr. X usually stops and asks how I am. He knows I have some problems. He can see I'm not happy here. He actually offered me some free weekly sessions. I think I might take him up on his offer. You what should. What are you saying about him? You should. Oh yeah. They say he's a big flirt. Nurses, cleaners, patients. He doesn't care. As long as they're wearing a skirt. One girl <laughs> I knew. Ah. Linda. I heard they had an affair. Stupid girl. Oh. Uh, she left, and I never saw her again. He's a parasite. He's a parasite. He's a parasite. Rex got her knocked up. They covered it up and quietly got rid of her. Probably paid her some money. Ooh. I don't know how these things work, but it must have been enough to shut her up. Ooh. I bet he'll be more careful now. Oh, <laughs> or maybe he I killed her. Say a bad word about him personally. Well, one thing, maybe. Don't laugh, okay? Okay. He's got a weird smell. Hmm? What do you mean? He smells funny. I don't know. Maybe it's just bad aftershave. Or maybe it's something he eats. He's a cannibal? Oh. Thanks for the warning. I'll try not to get too close to him. Now that I think about it, there's something else too. Uh, I'll tell you this, Susan. Oh, what is he it? He starts talking to you. And you just open up and tell him everything. It's very odd. I don't exactly hide things from people. But he got some really private stuff out of me. Really private. You know what I mean? Things I wouldn't tell my mother about. And we haven't even started those sessions yet. So, be prepared for that. Indeed sure. I will. But it's a bit too late for me to hide how I feel now anyway. I think I made it very clear when I swallowed those pills. Okay. I'm tired. Let me sleep now. I'm tired. Let me sleep now. Fine. I'll see you again. See you again. Be careful who you trust here, Susan. They will be watching you. Uh, oh, I know you're not one of them. That's you a good... Don't. Oh. But do I really look like a bad person to you? Nah. I don't know. Maybe not. I'll see you tonight. See it? Remember what I said. Watch your back. Dreams are just dreams. But when Sweet you dreams are... Okay, I'm sorry. It's good to have someone there to pinch your arm and wake you up. Right? What was that? Oh, now we're back here. We'll start with a little chat about your childhood. Can I pause I this? I want you to be as Honest as possible. Ah, uh, so continue, right? And if we want to get to the bottom of your problem, count to ten and tell me when you're ready, Susan. Um. Ah, uh, God. Okay, ready so to this talk. This isn't all about whether you're nuts or not, like we said before. It's about finding what has caused how you're feeling now and creating a working solution. In order to achieve that, I need to get to know you better. Can we talk get to about know your you childhood? better? Your parents. When you're a child, your life revolves around them. What was your father like? 
Did you have a good relationship with him? Probably not. Uh, yeah, I had a great yeah, dad. I had a great dad. Ah, look at that. I have very fond memories of my father. He was always there for me, no matter what I did. He never got angry or upset. I suppose I never really gave him any reasons to be. I was a good child. Not perfect. But then again, no one's perfect. Charles, <laughs> Charles has messaged me saying myself. about coffee. I can't really do that at the moment, Charles. I'm recording a video. <laughs> Where is he now? He died six years ago. Cancer. Do you miss him? Of course I miss him. How can you even ask me that? It's my job to ask these questions, Susan. Let's talk about your mother now. Mm. What was she like? Would you care to tell me about her? Would you tell me to tell about her? Um. Oh. She was a horrible mother and a wonderful mum. I lost her when I was a child. I lost her when I was still a child. So you were brought up by a single dad. What happened to your mother? She... Died giving birth, abandoned me, committed suicide. Since we're building up Susan's character, I think, it would, I think it would be a reason to be oppressed that if your mother committed suicide. It's very cruel of me, but... Ah, oh, goddammit. Committed suicide. One night, my parents had this horrible fight. Not at the I moment! I it while lying in bed, forcing myself to go to sleep. It went on forever. And then, all of a sudden, there was silence. I kept hoping everything was okay, but I still couldn't sleep. Not at the moment! The feeling, you know, that something wasn't right. Hmm. And then... I heard this horrible bang that echoed through the house. Shot to the head. Up, oh, my man. I got up. My legs felt like rubber. I went to the living room and saw the cellar door was wide open. For some reason, I already knew what happened. I just didn't want to believe it. We had a gun in the house. A rifle. It was oh. in a box on top of the wardrobe, so I couldn't reach it. I wasn't even supposed to know about it, but I did. And at that moment, as I stood there on top of the stairs, I knew it was the rifle that fired. My father came out of the cellar. He looked like a ghost. Then he said something he would regret forever. He said, go and see what your mummy did. I could see tears rolling down his face. I stood there, paralyzed, and he shouted at me and said, Just look at your fucking mother, will you? So I did. Oh! Jesus Christ! Oh God, her head is completely blown off! I never should have listened to him. I still see her today when I close my eyes. Why did I only had a very traumatic childhood, Susan? Why did I'm I pick sorry. this option? I can only try to understand what it feels like to lose a parent. But it's clear to me that your problems are rooted deep in your childhood. That's enough about your parents for now. Let's take two minutes and we will talk about something else. My god, this is going on for a very long time. Ah, oh, finally! I need to get out of this place. I uh, hate really? hospitals. Besides, I really want to go home and forget all about this. Okay, that makes sense. Righty then! And... save. Type the name and press enter. Okay. Thomas... Orbed. Dear. There we go. So, uh, do. hi there, guys. If you probably didn't know what just happened there with the sudden cut and that, is because um, in the cat lady, apparently, when it says quit the, yeah, um, I thought it went, I thought it went, would go back to the menu, but apparently it does not. But 
anyways there you go guys that was the cat lady it's a very interesting game and i look f i look forward to you know you know continuing on further obviously i'll probably be cutting out a lot of parts because i i don't really want to do like probably will do a one hour session of it but i don't know i'll probably cut out the parts where i'm just endlessly looking around for stuff because of course it's also a, a um a horror game but anyways if you enjoyed this video why don't you like comment favor and subscribe to see more content like this and i'll see you all in the next video Bye-bye.